sleep boxing repeat delighted to be joined by greg um this fr- yeah friday afternoon um greg thanks for yeah thanks for giving us a bit of your time today mate just i wanted to talk to you about the um the sad and yeah shocking news that cash fruit has unfortunately had to um retire at the age of 26 i think this was announced yesterday um but yeah, keen to, um, I know you, you've interviewed him in the past. I know you've seen him fight in the flesh in the past. I know you were a, a fan of his as well. Um, but yeah, just keen to kind of get your, get, get your reaction to that, mate. Yeah. Th- Elliot, thanks very much for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm devastated. I have to be honest with you. Um, I'm really, really gutted. I was a big, big cash for a fan. Um, I know that, Life and everything will still go on for him. He's going to go into a new career and all the best to him. But I remember I went for, I think it was a relatively small town show in Glasgow and I came across Cash Farouk and I just thought, I remember him from the amateurs briefly when I competed myself, but I didn't see too much of him. Um, and I seen him as a professional and at first I was like, didn't really know what to think. And then second round, the third round passed and I was like, do you know what, this boy's just warming in. He's, <laughs> this is just the beginning. He's going to be really, really good. And then before you knew it, it was on these shows where these guys at that way, with all due respect, normally they're points wins, points wins, points wins everywhere. He was really hurting these guys and stopping them. And it was with intelligence. He's not the, he wasn't the biggest puncher, but he punched hard enough. And um, I was there the night that he beat Wilson. Um, I think he stopped him four or five rounds for the British title. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just gutted. Me, I, th- I thought it could go all the way. I really do. Mm. I was there at Lee McGregor. I was there for the SPR actually. Um, at Lee McGregor fight, I remember everyone had cash miles ahead, and I didn't. I had it to cash by maybe one, two. Thought it was tight, and I remember some people at ringside saying. You're mad. He's winning this easiest. He's not winning the easiest. It's a good fight, but he's he's winning very close. Um, and then after that, Matt Trim signed Cash for and not Lee McGregor. With all due respect to Lee McGregor, mm. that goes to show you they obviously seen something in the same way that I did. So, yeah, to answer you, I'm I'm devastated. Me, I thought I thought that he really could go all the way. I think he had a world title in him. Um, but good luck to him in the next chapter of his career. Yeah, absolutely. I think. Um... I think we had 17 fights, one, 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 one multiple, one multiple titles. Um, as you say, it's a great shame. I feel like, like at the same time, as as we're speaking, we don't know the real reason as to why he's retired. I mean, I imagine he'll give some sort of official statement soon. Um, but yeah, kind of um, echo your thoughts. It's just, it's really sad because he's clearly just not um, fulfilled his potential and fulfilled what he was, what he was capable of doing. Um, yeah. I think, other thing I was really just kind of interested in, um, in 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 hearing your thoughts about, mate, was you touched it earlier the Lee the Lee, Lee McGregor fight. I know you, yeah, as you said, you you were ringside for that, representing us, um, yeah. at the time. Um, but yeah, can you just go into like a little bit more detail about the fight and um, kind of why why you obviously we know that Cash Fruit didn't get the position in the end, but um, why you had him winning and and also kind of there was supposed to be a rematch in a few months for month months time between McGregor and and Farouk. Um, kind of give us your thoughts and how you thought that would have gone as well, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, the rumours were that they were supposed to both maybe have a fight now, round about this time next month or two, and then I think it was April or May at the Hydro, the the rematch was supposed to happen. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, that night I was at Lee McGregor, Cash Farouk, it's one of the best fights I've ever seen live. I'm actually getting goosebumps talking about it now because I remember how I felt when I was there and it was incredible. Um, it was a very tight fight. A lot of people had Farouk really wide ahead. I didn't. Um, I think the reason it was tight for me was because McGregor was answering everything. It's not like Farouk was, you know, dominating and pushing him back and McGregor didn't know what to do. McGregor answered everything. What it really came down to in that fight for me was the tail and punches and the effective punches were just more landed by Cash Brook. But McGregor's energy and his work rate kept him right in that fight. And, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have disregarded a draw in that fight. I really wouldn't. I didn't think McGregor won it, but I don't think a draw would have been a terrible result, but I definitely think Cash just nicked it. But, Elliot, it's one of the best fights I've ever seen. 
oh, unbelievable. You ever get when it could be a small hole show, it could be a world title fight, but when two guys just believe they're not going to lose mm. and they don't let anything bother them whatsoever. That was one of those fights. It was such a, a special, special night. I think it was an example of um, a fights, fights that we don't see enough where you've got two young undefeated fighters who are both kind of destined for world level who put their yeah. undefeated records against each other. I think we've seen it with um, Farouk and McGregor. We've seen it with James DeGale and George Groves quite a long time ago now, but we don't get enough of those fights. And I think it just shows that although Cash Farouk didn't get the win that night, um, had signed by Matchroom, fought on some big yeah. shows afterwards, was destined for, 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 for big fights. So a loss mm -hmm. shows you're kind of a loss early in your career doesn't kind of um does doesn't it doesn't mean too much it's not the end of the world, um, but yeah no I just I think there's not much else to say at the moment I think but I just think hopefully um hopefully we can get some time with Cash Fruit when the time is right just to discuss a couple of things be interesting to get his verdict on his career and looking back on on a couple of other nights but um yeah I just think just achieved a lot for what for for, for the time that he was the time he was a pro for and yeah it's a shame that we're we're not going to see him fight again yeah well rounding off that i like to say something that one of the most important things that i forgot to say um and like you touched on that i've interviewed him and things before I've, I've texted cash and things and he is one of the nicest guys you will ever meet and i don't know if you've seen that's what the majority of twitter were saying yesterday mm. yeah a lot were talking about who talented it was but you look at all the posts and all the ones that said what a fantastic guy he was it, it was, there's no, I can't, I can't even say any more than what anyone else has said. He gives you your time, he stands, he listens to you, he's very humble, he's quiet natured, you can just tell he's a really kind guy and he mm. gives you all the time in the world and it's a shame because St Andrews, um, after that interview, they says to me they wanted to get me up to their headquarters mm. and do like a formal interview with Cash and well they signed for Matrim and he was down in England after that, wasn't he? So it just never really materialised but I just think it's worth pointing in there before we move on. Ellie, it was a such a lovely little guy. Really, yeah. really was. He's such a nice guy. And do you know what? He's probably going to excel in the new career that he's got because he's just there's something so attractive about his nature. It, it, it brings you in, it makes you listen to him, it makes you respect him. And I'm sure that the people who haven't seen that before, they'll see that now going forward in the new role that he has. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's um still so young as well. I think believe he's only he's only twenty six. So yeah, I'm sure. positive is that he's got so much time to do something yeah. else. Whether it's kind of yeah, it sounds like he's going to stay in the sport, which is fantastic. But there's yeah. he's got so much time to do to do other things now. Um, yeah. cool. No, well, thanks for that, Greg. I think yeah, it's really great to get your thoughts on on, on Crash Fruit and his career. Mm -hmm.